groups. Another woman sued Sean Combs on Tuesday, alleging that his, the music mogul and his head of security raped her and recorded it on video at his New York recording studio in 2001. The lawsuit filed in federal court in New York, the latest of several similar suits against Combs, comes a week after he was arrested as a federal sex trafficking indictment against him was unsealed. Tyler Graves alleged that when she was 25 and dating an executive who worked for Combs in the summer of 2001, Combs and Joseph Sherman lured her to a meeting at Bad Boy Recording Studios. She said they picked her up in an SUV and during the ride gave her a drink, likely laced with a drug. According to the lawsuit, Graves lost consciousness and woke to find herself bound inside Combs' office and lounge at the studio. The two men raped her, slapped her, slammed her head against a pool, a pool table and ignored her screams and cries for help. The lawsuit alleges. At a news conference in Los Angeles with one of her attorneys, Gloria Alred, Graves said she has su suffered from flashbacks, nightmares and intrusive in uh, the years since. Internal pain after being sexually assaulted has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. It's a pain that reaches into your very core of who you are and leaving emotional scars that we never fully heal. But we believe that victims should not be shamed, and instead those who committed the criminal acts against them should be ashamed and take responsibility for the harm that they have caused victims to suffer. We are very proud of Thalia for speaking out today in order to help victims of rape and other acts of sexual violence against them. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.